Okay, so we're gonna set the blade for three and a quarter. Or Everybody, I uh, got you here at the Smurf house and we are going to trim out this window. I'm going to show you how to measure. Uh, we're going to rip some boards, some one by boards, and uh, uh, paint them and case this window. But uh, we're going to take some normal trim and uh, trim it out like that. Uh, so what we got is just a regular, um, well this has been ripped before, but it's about the right width. But um, we're going to measure from the base to the outside of this uh, paneling so that we can get a, a piece of trim that covers that. Okay. Um, so what we got here is about, let's see, two and a quarter. Okay, so we're going to set the blade for three and a quarter, or no, two and a quarter. Okay, we got two and a quarter. I'll be able to get a few out of this, I think. Two. So I like to use up all the scrap boards that I can. These I got off the off the outside trim, the door, and uh, it's still good wood. I just take a little um, body filler and fill up these screw holes, um, and then it'll be fine. Um, I'll put that. There's a little chunk missing out of there but I'll just put that facing down and it won't be a problem there's just a few screw holes like that we'll sand them down real quick and um, put some body filler in there and then we cut them to length but that's the right width right there <laughs> Actually, now I'm going to cut them to length so I know what I'm working with and I don't have to fill a bunch of holes that I don't need to. 62 and 3 eighths. 62 and 3 eighths. 62 and 3 eighths will work for top and bottom. Okay. Sixty-two two and 3 eighths. Let's 
62 and 3 eighths. Okay, now what I do, I get the side measurements by, get the side measurements by doing this. Put both of the boards there, just measure what's left. 51 and a quarter. Now I gotta rip a couple more boards, so. Okay, I found another I found another board to rip for the um, sides of the window. And lucky it's just the perfect uh, perfect length. So here we go. Cut them to length. All right, we're about to cut this board. Um, it's taken so long to cut this board that I actually um, was able to grow a beard. We're actually cutting the two sideboards for um, casing that window. Um, I believe it was 51 and a quarter. Battery's getting low on that. Now I'm going to, uh, since I got them to length, I'm going to sand them up and uh, fill those screw holes. And this one's got some extra caulking on there. Um, I ran across, I accidentally bought these uh, sanding discs and I really like them. Let me, well, I thought I was getting um, just the plain sanding disc, but it come with 15 of these uh, sanding nets, and I just started to use them, and we'll see how long it takes to clog it up, but uh, the selling point is uh, they last 10 times longer, so it seems to cut really good, so that's good. I'll let you know how long it takes to clog it up. I'm <laughs> sorry. 
I don't know if you saw what happened there, but I had all that caulking on the back. And if I would have had regular paper, that would have never sanded that off really easily. But that went right through the caulking. It was hard painter's caulk. And I can't even hardly tell there's anything on the um, sanding disc. So that's pretty impressive to me. So, still seems pretty good. So I may have found a keeper there. Okay, we got the four boards here. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to fill it with some body filler. And just regular automotive <coughs> body filler. Like I always say, it's not too critical on the, the mix of the Bondo. Um, that I probably got too much, too much hardener. It's supposed to be the color of the spreader, but it really doesn't make too much difference. If as long as you got some on there, it's going to get hard eventually. I got some cracks and stuff on this board too. So I'll go ahead and work fast. That's one. I don't got enough here. But that's okay. Mix up some more. I usually let that harden and grab a different one. I think I got a couple here. Okay.
Okay, now we'll let that dry. So the Bondo's dry, now we just sand it down flat. Okay, we got these boards all filled and sanded. Now we're ready to paint them. And uh, I'm gonna put primer on them first. <clears throat> you don't necessarily have to do that, um, especially if you're using a good paint. Uh, but usually the paint is more expensive than the primer. Um, so, I've never, even if it says on the, on the can that it's going to cover in one coat, uh, you are still going to need two coats. I've never had it work that way. So I usually use primer, one coat of primer, then one coat of, uh, of good paint. And, and that usually does it pretty well. So here we go. This is like a, what is it? Two gallons of all purpose interior exterior primer. That's what I'm using. That's probably like the cheapest stuff you can get. I don't remember how much it costs, but then I coat it with this. This is like the most expensive stuff you can buy. Um, but it's really awesome. So you really could just buy this and not primer it because um, this basically is a primer also, I think. Anyway, I've used it without primer and it works great. Uh, never had a problem with it for years. <clears throat> but like I say, it's so expensive that it really pays you to primer first. So this is the primer I'm putting on first. Just use a little roller, it's so easy that way. I also have um, sprayed it on, and that's even easier, but with the sprayer, I, the little sprayer I have, uh, let's see. Yeah, the little sprayer I have, you, you gotta thin the paint out. And then the big sprayer I have, it wastes so much paint when you're, you know, it's, it's not effective to do little jobs like this with the big sprayer, just because it takes so much, so much paint to, uh, to, you know, put in the hose and all that. So it's kind of too much. So just for little jobs like this, I'll either use the little sprayer and thin it down or just roll it on like this, which, which is what I like to do most of the time. But honestly, you get a nicer job with the spray, just to be honest. And all that matters for this exact thing that we're trying to accomplish here is just to paint the top. Make sure you don't got any drips on the side. And uh, you're good to go really. There we go. We'll let that dry and then uh, put our paint on. And right now we're ready to paint. So 
Got the paint ready. I got this piece of trim, but it's already painted. But there, it is um, got some some marks on it. So I'm gonna kind of go over it a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got some uh, some marks on it right there. Some scuff marks. So. This is the trim that's going to go on the on the the frame. The it's going to frame the window. This is going to case the window, and then let's see this trim will go like that. Okay. This is a really old gallon of paint that I've <laughs> had floating around. So it does have some chunks in it. By really old, I mean probably three years old. I'm betting, I'm guessing. Still okay. And there's one board. Can we move over a little bit? Just give this one a little touch up. <laughs> I think that's good. Oops. Okay, so that's one coat of white paint on the on the casing. And I'm happy with that for now. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and and, uh, and nail these in right now. Um, after that, we're going to go ahead and um, caulk the edges, and we'll have to paint that again anyway. So we'll we'll caulk the the nail holes and the and the corners, and that'll give us another opportunity to put a little bit more paint on this if we need to. Okay. So we put our first board in. So I want it to line up with the bottom edge of this so that my trim can can be flush. That right there is going to be cocked, so it'll be okay. 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 
it's going to be trim going here. So we'll do that now. Okay. Let's see. Cut the board. Now, measure the inside, obviously. Do one and three quarters. I give it a little bit extra because I, 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 uh, I like to um, give it just a little bit, not all the way up to the edge. I like to give it just a little bit reveal there. And that gives me a little bit extra playroom. Oh, I did cut too much of it off, too. Uh, use this one for this side, because it fits. Oh! Oops. Well, that happens sometimes, but did you get to see that? Yeah. So I got a, must've hit something solid in there and I got a bent nail. So I have to pull that out. Uh. Well, don't want to break the window. Come on. Amazing how good those nails stay in there. I can't. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to rebondo that part. That's okay. But you can kind of see how I get that little edge there. And, uh, and put a little, tiny bit of caulking in there. Well, maybe just paint there. If it's really close, I just paint it. If, uh, if I got a gap like that, I caulk it. Gap like that, I caulk that. Okay. I'll try to cut this one the right length without cutting it too short. Okay, 51, forget what it was, 51 and three quarters. Right. Ah, I think we got close this time. Yes, we're good. Okay. All right, that's what we're looking like so far. Okay. And we got that little bit of edge right there. So I'm measuring, let's see. 61 and 3 eighths. And that's a tad long. So I want to cut, I usually like to cut them just a tiny, tiny bit long. Um, and uh, 
just so I need, I know how much I need to adjust it. That way I don't end up cutting it too short and you'll see a gap in there. It might not be too long at all. We'll see. See how it works. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit long. Probably not even a blade width. Let's see. All right, well, it's about as good as I normally try to get it. Um, I haven't nailed it in yet, but it'll be pretty, pretty close and good enough for me. Let's get it nailed in. Okay. 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 Once I cock that, it'll be looking okay. And uh, paint that. Not 100%, but it's good enough. All right, so I'm about to put the, cut the last piece on, and I got the, got my uh, Bondo job halfway. It's dried and ready to sand. Um, then I'm gonna be caulking all the, all the seams uh, and the nail the nail holes and then uh, one last uh, throw a little paint in the cracks and then we'll be done with that window so we're doing that and I wanted to mention that I don't just do one window at a time um, I usually paint as much as I can these have been primed and painted uh, this one has got something that bled through so I wish I would have put another coat well I actually got two that bled through wish I had to put another coat of primer on that but hopefully hopefully another coat of paint will cover that um, so I got these this is basically almost all the windows casing and then uh, enough to do a couple windows on the the front on the trim. So I got another couple windows here. So there it is. And also, uh, if it was warmer outside, more than likely I would take these out and use a spray gun and spray them. Uh, you do get a slightly smoother finish with the spray, but. Uh, it's actually pretty good with the roller too, so I'm happy with it. So uh, we're cutting our bevel or our 45 on this before we measure. Okay, we'll go measure. 61 and 3 eighths is what I'm calling it. That's a little bit long, but and three eighths. One, two, three. Now, sixty one and three eighths is just a little bit long, but it gives me a little bit of room for error. And two 
to adjust a little bit as long as I don't cut it. Okay, let's try. Let's try that. I cut it way long. I'm gonna try. cut a blade width off here. I don't regret that one. Let's see. Okay, that side's gonna line up. And I need to trim. See, I got a gap there, so I need to trim a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, but um I'm going to trim a little bit off that side and see. So I'm kind of angling it so I cut more off of this side. So it'll look like. So it'll fit better. And let's go see. Let's see. Get that one. I think it's actually pretty good. Okay. I'm gonna call that good because it's looking pretty good. Just gotta nail it on. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to sand this part here, see if I can get that. I put a little too much Bondo on there, but. Okay, that feels pretty good, actually. I didn't get the audio on this one for some reason, so I'm just going to try to explain what's what I'm doing here. Um, I'm starting to caulk the window. I'm uh, pushing the caulking with the f tip of the caulking gun. I think that makes it better result. Um, you really want to try to get like as little possible, just enough caulking uh, in the in the gap and then I usually just run my finger down it and then I take a look to see if I need to add a little bit more in this case looks like I do I didn't quite get enough in there So I can um, take the extra and that's on my finger and fill the nail holes. And then I add a little bit more where I was lacking right there.
and then I had some extra on my finger, so I'm trying to get some in between the gap there on the corners. And like I said, you really don't want to get very much anywhere. You just make a huge mess. So I, I usually say it's better to get not enough than too much on the first pass. especially if you're not taping it. I'm just barely getting enough caulking in the groove. You should wind up with just a tiny little bit of extra on your finger. And that's usually enough to fill the nail holes. And we're pretty much done with this one. All right. Now, what we got here is we are done caulking and we just need to put a little tiny bit of paint on. Um, over the caulking and then, then we'll be done with this window. All right, now we're ready to paint and this is what we're covering up. On my messy caulking and this unpainted part right here it'll kind of s oh there you go it'll kind of seal that in to anything now when I paint I'm gonna try not to get I'm gonna try not to get any paint on the uh, the window I just don't like it um, it just looks cleaner without that um, you got like a little skim coat of, uh, of caulking there. That'll come off very, very easily, even with just your fingernail. Um, and you can do that later after you paint, if you don't get paint there. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to need very much paint for this. Um, I poured a little extra cause I got a couple pieces of trim to paint. I like the little ro these little rollers because um, I like these little rollers because they 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 do a better job than a paintbrush. Okay. Just like that, they look better. I should say. Now, once I get I get the edge then if I put it once I get the edge then I can roll it a little bit easier once I can get rid of this thing Figured out that it's easier use the paintbrush or use the roller and
slide it like that. And I'll tell you the main reason I paint white trim on these windows is because the windows are white. And if you get a little bit on there, it's not going to matter that much. But I still like to make it look clean. Okay. So now I just have to go around the edge and I don't need to be careful anymore. So I'm away from the window. Get that. This. What is that? Get this edge. Okay, now I might as well just do this part. the way over here. It's the part that I might take two coats for that because it's not covering. That's where I blew a hole through the wood, had to bondo it again. All right, there is it all finished. Um, it's not dry yet, but. That's how I normally do it. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Um, if you got any tips on how I could do that better, um, throw it in the comments. But that's how I usually do it, just because it's quick. I don't really like taping stuff, and I don't really like getting paint on this uh, on the window. So, um, hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.